Oh my god. It's working again. Um, I'd like to, well, I don't know if I would say I'd like to thank, but I guess, yeah, in a way, I'd like to thank the people that were bringing something that should have been quite obvious to me, uh, to mind, and, and, and that I, I'm referencing yes. is, uh, the graphics mod I installed, uh, probably back in part two, I would say. Um, I installed a graphics mod that, uh, was released pretty much the day that the game came out. And, uh, I figured that this was just a glitch with Fallout and Bethesda yes. because That's they make really games with a lot of bugs. Of and there were these, like, really disgusting graphics textures that just made it virtually unplayable in this region because I could not see a damn thing without a glitch coming up in my face. Um, yeah. <laughs> And so, I just assumed that was Bethesda, Bethesda, but as it turns out, that was actually the mod, and I'm able to do this quest now, because I uninstalled it. Matter of fact, I uninstalled all the mods that I had. I also had, like, an eye texture mod, um, but I noticed that was bringing down performance a little bit. Um, that happens a lot with, you know, early mods. I mean, the, it's only been, like, four or five days since the game came out, so it's not something that's too terribly surprising. Um, that's why you have backups for PC games, is just so you can put in the original files again if anything comes uh, comes to uh, become a problem. But anyway, um, let's stop with all the nonsensical talking and jibber-jabber. Why did I just say jibber-jabber? Um, all right, we're going to put on... Radex. I have so many things. Good God. All right. And let's get in there. I know there was one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Get back up. There's another one right there. Okay. There's two. Where's the last one? Let's go ahead and get up real quick, just so I don't incur any radiation I don't need to incur. I said incur twice. Where is the other one? Ah, it's all the way over there. Well, we can run over there. We don't have to swim. Not qu- Ah, well, goddammit. Maybe we have to swim a little bit. <laughs> um... I'd like to avoid it as much as possible. Where the hell is it? There it is. Okay, talk to Sully. Okay, Sully. Took care of your problem. Now, if I recall correctly, this guy... Uh, appears, uh, sorry, this guy appears to have some sort of, um, alternative, uh, alternative, excuse me, alternate, or alternative, uh, motivations for, uh, why he's wanting to do this whole deal, uh, at least from what I recall reading in the terminal. So, let's get our shotgun out, just in case he tries to pull something. Maybe if I close off this intake, I can get enough pressure. Hey. <clears throat> That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. That one. Okay. I'm gonna take this stuff real quick. Because I can. That's a lot of steel. Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Gotcha. Okay, killed one. Hope the other guy's alright. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Oh shit, I forgot. God damn it. That is upsetting. Um, let me go ahead and put my regular stuff back on. Welding goggles. And I also got a new helmet, but we'll go over that later. Alright. Now you're fine all of a sudden. Ah, there it is. Meyer looks. 
I guess I shouldn't be surprised that start him up. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little something before you clear out. Alright. So that's it. <laughs> that was anticlimactic considering all of the build-up, but... Eh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we got some jets and cram and duct tape. It's always good to have adhesive. That seems like fairly low detail button going on right there. What's that all about? Also, actually, there's nothing that is attached to that. So, oh, no, it is. Awesome. All right, well then, let's go ahead and unlock this. This is like level four mission quests or whatever. So I seriously doubt there's anything that That's valuable. It. Yeah, it's just a couple of nice little things just to have. But hey, it, it's a thing, so there's that. Okay, so I've been kind of toiling over what my next quest is going to be in this game. Um, obviously, I just did that, but I, I, I don't know. Like, some things feel like they're kind of too big to do already, and others feel like I'm ill-equipped to do them, and others just feel point... Like, I, like, all these settlement things, like, they're fun, but that's all they really are, and I'm not really... I don't, I don't feel like I'm capable of taking on more settlements at the moment. I already have, like, I think three or four um, that are uh, under my responsibility, and quite frankly, I'm not doing a very good job at keeping up with them. Uh, I don't want to go back to the uh, Brotherhood of Steel thing quite yet. I want to hold off on that. The Freedom Trail, I believe, is a Minutemen quest. Um, it would make sense. Uh, Ghoul Problem, that's another Settler thing. So I'm kind of... Uh, either gonna... Okay, so I'm either thinking going to Vault 81, which would be fine. That would be a, a good place to go. Um, I don't know if there would be any uh, combat in that section, but it seems like, uh, you know, a fairly high-profile quest to take on. Um, or we could do f uh, the Freedom Trail. I'm undecided. And you know what? You guys will find out which quest I decide to go with after this transition. And here we are, the big reveal of which quest we decided to go on. That would be Vault 81, quite clearly. Just just by looking at the cave, I think that you can infer that. Vault 81. Have I got some questions for the folks down here? Do ya? Oh, well, I'm sure you'll find out whatever you want to know. Oh. Well, let's open this bitch. Apparently the people that are in this vault are not very inclusive. For whatever reason. Maybe similar to Vault 101 in that sense. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy But you better start talking. Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that Pip-Boy. Why are you asking about my Pip-Boy? We get plenty of scavengers and traders passing by the entrance. Everybody wants to get at the shiny red button. But you're the first one to try it with a working Pip-Boy. Now where'd you get it? I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Uh -huh. Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Hmm, that's red. I don't know if that was going to work. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he yeah. was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of a working pit boy. 
that That's right. So? Yes, it is. I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Yes. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. I am shocked that that worked. Like, I would imagine red equals bad. So the fact that worked at all is, is amazing. I am very happy right now. Wonder what the alternative would have been. Guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. You but you and I right? both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow vault dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? Have you ever seen any other vault dwellers? You're the first. In all our time here, not a single traveler from another vault. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation-free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. That's fair. I mean, I don't necessarily disagree. Uh, like, it is a very good point. If I had to choose between, you know, being out in, in the wasteland, constantly in fear of being killed by mutants or ghouls or I whatever the got fuck, all day. I've got a or to run. drinking purified water and sleeping on a clean bed... I think I'd pick the latter. That's just me, Aren't though. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hope you're not making any trouble. Shut up. You know... Another outsider? What they let you in for? Well, excuse me. What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before, we don't need it now. The Overseer never should have opened up the vault to your kind. Well, aren't you a ray of sunshine? You think you're funny? That's exactly why outsiders don't belong here being funny that's an odd way of looking hey. at things seriously I don't want to talk well I do Leave me alone I've got work to do no if you're looking for friendly conversation you won't find it here say you're sorry <laughs> okay um Stay safe. I guess uh, okay so my, what I was gonna say before I interacted with that uh, delightful woman was that, you know, with, with things like this, you always run the risk of not being leveled enough. And that's the interesting thing about Fallout, that at least in my experience, is that generally, that's not really how it works with these games. There's no, like, level system where it's like, oh, no, this area, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not powerful enough for this area. Maybe I'm ill-equipped, but there's never a point where in Fallout I'm ever like, I can't beat this section. There's always a scenario in which you can, even if you're, like, level 2, you're still capable of killing super mutants and stuff like that. It just might take a little bit more craftiness. The work never ends in Vault 81. Um. Uh, okay. This is one of your, uh, special vault dwellers, isn't it? You want How are you making that noise with concrete? She'll hook you up. I'm, I'm sure you will, buddy. Th uh, thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
It's very sweet that they let him do things. Wait, hold a sec. Oh, okay. No signs hey. of radiation. Impressive. Well, yeah. This sort what, of here? what I wouldn't give for some real time off. Damn it. Huh? I'm not going to like this. What's going on? We got a barber here if you need it. I'm not saying you do. Okay, so there's an elevator. That's good. What do we have here? Okay, so elevator that way, screening that way. Oh, right, yeah. Exit zone. Hey there. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. Okay. I mean, sometimes we don't always get what we want. But, you know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about things. Alright, I guess I need to take the elevator. Sorry, Piper. There's got to be something that I hey, that Mister, I have to Are you really from the Commonwealth? No. I just found these in the vault. Yeah. Why do you want to know? I never met anybody from the Commonwealth before. I thought maybe you might want someone to show you around. Just five caps. How did you know I was here? Grand says I have a knack for finding stuff out that I'm not supposed to. Actually, she ain't my gran. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my gran. When my mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, do you want me to show you around or not? Let's see if he'll do it for free. Sure, but I'm not paying you. If you're that cheap, forget it. You can find your own way around. I'm heading out. Hmm. Don't wait up for me. Again? But I need your help here. Please, you haven't needed my help in years. So whatever it is, it can wait. Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? You're gone more than you're here. Whatever happened to loving husband and father? Stop nagging at me, Alexis. Hey, um... I'll take good care of your wife, buddy. If you you go ahead and just leave. Ask Alexis. I can't make heads or tails of her sorting. Yeah? I'll, I'll make heads or tails of her sorting. <laughs> I'm gonna have sex with her. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. Must be keeping busy then. At least business is good. Too good these days. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. What's with your hair? Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hull, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. Mm. I swear the cat is more help than he is. The cat? <laughs> right. I bet it takes care of all the chores around here. I wish. But Ash is a sweet, faithful, and never runs off. Well, almost never. Enough about the cat. What do you have for me? I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Do ya? How, how do you have these things? Overseer's Guardian? What the fuck? That's like a really good weapon. <laughs> how did you get that? Destroyer's right. This is really good stuff. Um, I mean, it's incredibly powerful uh, uh, and extremely expensive, but... Fuck. I can't afford most of this. Oh, hey, it's that guy who likes to... wrench the concrete walls. Yep. If you're looking to do some trading, look for the depot. Alexis has just about anything you could need. Oh, you got guts wearing that Pip-Boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Shit. Music. Where's the music coming from? Fuck. Ah, oh, God. Copyright. 100% copyright. Dr. Forsyth is asking to see you when you have a moment. Dr. Forsyth? Okay, that's just really creepy. Ooh. 
guy who does haircuts. Thanks, Horatio. I love it. I didn't think I'd ever make it in with the hours I've been working. Uh, but you did. And now you look completely refreshed. Just remember, a couple months and you come back and see me again. Now, off with you. Get some rest. No promises there, but I'll try. If you want a new look, stop by my salon sometime. Nice Horatio. Good boy. After if it ever starts acting fall, up on you, I see Alexis. To She'll fix it right up. Out Shut up! Well, if the overseer hadn't let me stay here, I probably wouldn't be alive today. Oh, so he's an outsider. That's interesting. Oh, I can take the corn. I'm gonna harvest the shit out of this stuff. You kidding me? Cool. Alright. Research terminal. Um, This probably isn't going to be very interesting. Germination was fast. Seeds have sprouted and are healthy. Yeah, no, I'm not reading this. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm not going to read research notes about corn. No. I heard he'll pick caps if you got them. Mm, you're whipping up a new batch of pies today? I heard Alexis promise one to Aaron, and I know how you hate to disappoint the little ones. Marcus William Somerset. Oh, don't you go on thinking you're so clever. Those pies are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey, you tried telling that to Aaron and breaking a little girl's heart. I didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded. Mark, I swear, over 40 years of marriage, you need to count your blessings you're still alive. Another new face in the vault, eh? Is that a threat? What is it we're needing now, fella? Stuff. I'm afraid that information's classified, sir. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Gwenny let in a good one. That sense of humor is just what this vault needs. The people here, they're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. It's not easy, being a leader. True words were never spoke. And I wouldn't want her job in a million years. Well, i best be getting back to it. Don't want the old lady on me again. Sixty-two years old and still fiery as ever. <laughs> oh, you. You must be that new traveler Gwen let in. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Nope, I've been here for years. You're just... Hate to break it to you, but you have dementia. Yep. Alright, but seriously. Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. But I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Do you run this place by yourself? Heavens no, I'd be a wreck. My husband, Mark, he helps me. Though mostly with the tasting. Is it hard work feeding everyone here? It used to be easier. Back when I was young, we had more supplies than we could count. Why, my mother taught me some recipes that had ingredients that... Well, I doubt you could find them anywhere anymore. Since we started trading, we managed well enough, but... The variety? Let's just say it's more than a bit lacking. Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Never. Can you imagine? Oh, born and raised right here in Vault 81. It was easier back then, you know. Supplies were high, and the dangers outside were both severe and unknown. Poor Gwen didn't know what she was getting into when she accepted the role of overseer. How is Gwen doing as the Overseer? It weighs on her, I can tell. We need help from the Commonwealth, but a few people, they don't care for it. Not to mention the state of the vault. Upkeep's got people working round the clock these days. Even me. If people are going to be up all night working, they'll need a good meal to keep them going. I'll think about it. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Alright, so... Some doctor yeah. wants to talk to me for something. Uh, no, it's just, that's just the bathroom and no, oh no, there's a door. I was going to say, there's no door. 
That's really so, disgustingly creepy. Anything. Damn it. I was just holding that wrench. Okay. I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to go here at some point. Call me crazy. Oh, okay. I was going to say, this vault seems very small, but yeah, this it really opens up now. Okay. Hey, where's that kid? I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Austin. Bet you wish he took the tour now. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> hey. Hi. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Yeah, a lot. Does that uh, entice you? <laughs> yeah. Is it boring here in the vault? No, I love teaching these kids. But it's not the same as fighting to survive. Would you mind talking to my class about life in the Commonwealth? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, I, I, yeah, I sure. I can tell them a few. I won't let them take up too much of your time. Okay. Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? What topics should I avoid? Nothing with excessive violence. And I'm sure they'll have lots of questions. I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children. Children, listen up. We this have a guest be a disaster. today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you oh, have a God. funny claw? Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much I did. How do you know about death claws? I hear stuff. Grant heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? Uh, I probably shouldn't tell him the whole story. <sighs> I don't know. I feel, um, is this excessively violent? Well? I, I don't, I don't know. I, god damn it. I feel like I'm going to get kicked out if I, if I talk about this. Let's A just see. A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I uh, yeah. I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Have you ever seen a death claw? No. Miss Katie says they're big lizards with huge claws. Don't stop now. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. What's with all the weird camera angles? Okay, I got another Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do uh, plus 5% damage. Cool. But yeah, the camera angles have been very odd lately. When your numbers get over 10, you carry the extra to the next column. Whoa! But yeah, that was fun. I, I like that. I like this game when it, when it tells me to recount stories of, of things that I've done in the past or just really situations that my characters experience in general, whether it be um, the whole situation with the vault. And, and I think I... Uh, who was it? Yeah, I told Piper in that, that interview and the Deathclaw thing. I don't know. I just... I, I think that cool, that doctor, kind of stuff is really cool. And, Rachel down in the medical center. They can patch you. and uh, it's fun. I don't know. If you want a good meal, see Maria. It's fun to reminisce, I suppose. She'll hook you up. I expect hey. you'll both stay out of trouble. There's a story nope. here. We'll find it. Where do I go? I when I uh, told that kid that I wasn't going to pay for uh, a tour, I was thinking it was going to be more so like I don't know. I wouldn't say cute, but me just kind of like teasing him, sort of, seeing if I can drive down the price a bit. I didn't intend intend for it to be like "fuck you, kid." I'm not paying for it. And he got all upset, 
you know, rightfully so, because I was being kind of a dick about it. That's the one thing I always wish that these games would clarify is, uh, you know, like, intent behind what I'm saying. Hey, Outsider, do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. You want to leave the vault? More than you know. There's got to be more to life than this vault. But if I leave, it's on my own terms. Not because Bobby screwed it up. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Hi, Tina. Fix this, fix that. Never ends. Good thing we have old Rusty. Hey. Nothing would ever hey, get done the around outsider. here. outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. This is an interesting room. Really? Guess maybe for an outsider. Just the old generators down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Jesus. Say 75 caps? That is a lot. Who's it for? You? Me, myself, and I. Don't worry, I'm not into selling. That's my sister's thing. I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Don't forget what I said. If he gets me in trouble, he'll never hear the end of it. Was that intentional? Also, if you don't want your sister finding out, you probably shouldn't be looking to score drugs literally 10 feet away from her. If that. Sick of working. Is this all right, I'm going to rat you out right in front hey, of you. Hey, Tina. I never should have gotten him started on Chet. All right, never mind. Can't do that. Um, alright, so this room was interesting, but I'm done with it now. Wait. Gotta be sure of something. Not quite done with it yet. What's in here? Old Overseer's Terminal. Security's yeah, I can't unlock that. Technician's note. Okay, nobody can get into Overseer Aviolet's Terminal. The password might be corrupted. I can't get, uh, I can't make sense of this thing. Uh, and I finally convinced the Overseer to let it go and allow me to set up a, set up a new terminal. Uh, Olivet probably was hardly even using the thing anymore. I doubt there's anything important on it. Okay. So that terminal doesn't... I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh... Where is this doctor's place? Okay, so Atrium, Elevator, Overseer, Security... So, doctor's office isn't a part of that? Okay, there was the room over there. Wait, no, that's... No, no, put that away. I've come across one. Shut up. Why is everybody so quick and eager to get me to cut my hair? Man. I like my hair. Fuck you. Stop trying to make me change. Yeah. I can't imagine. Well, let's just open this. Yep, another room. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, the clinic. Okay, where's the overseer's Careful, office? Outside. Shut up. Everybody's always threatening me and warning me. Just yeah. leave me alone. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Let me do my own thing. You're still okay, here? Holt. Hey, Holt. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? 
Until I fuck your wife. Is that what you want to hear? Why do you want to know? I'll ask the questions. I'm the one that lives here. I have a right to know. I'm the one with the gun. So fuck you. Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes our way. <sighs> okay. That guy just looks upsetting. Like he clear like he just looks like the type of dude with like a small dick complex. I just look at him. Yeah. I think that's all you need to see. Okay, on to the clinic. I don't know where the overseer's well, office is, but whatever. Well, oh, leave me alone. I got I got other I things to do first. Presumptuous. But I'd Here's like to ask you a favor. Would you mind what? donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample. Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. All right, let's I'm not going to I'm not going to try to barter here. Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat and I'll draw some blood. Where do I sit? Right here? Is this it? Right here? I can't see you. Oh god. Sit there. Here? I can't see. Okay, I don't think he meant right here. Ah. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This I've been be shot help. before. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Yeah, for a guy who is consistently stabbed, shot, bludgeoned, and so on, I don't think, like, a tiny needle is really gonna affect this guy. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Uh, Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Okay. No nonsense. Alright, so... Is there anything... To do here? It... It seems like there's nothing. Which, that's really hard to believe. No, 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 don't, don't lock me in here. I'm gonna quick save real quick. Not many doctors around these days. Just in case I get busted for this. Or something. I'm in. There we go. Alright, patient Gwen McNamara. Uh, health history. Childhood bronchitis resulted in susceptibility to respiratory infections. Prescribed steroidal anti-inflammatory uh, anti inhaler for emergency use. Mark Somerset. General health is poor. He survived two, uh, two bouts of pneumonia. Prognosis of surviving another is doubtful. Suffers from ulcers, kidney disease. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. Go back. What is her general health? Excellent. Okay. Priscilla Penske. Uh, good. Beginning to show signs of arthritis. Has a family history of dementia, but shows no signs of it. Generally refuses even mild treatments. Robert DeLuca. Poor. Multiple addictions to chems. Uh, got clean once for two months before relapsing. Shows signs of cardiac weakness and memory loss. So that's Bobby they're referencing. The one who, uh, whose sister is all up his ass about taking all those chems. Guy who tried to, you know, pay me to give him some. Do you need something? I'm rather busy at the moment. Excuse me, Dr. Forsyth. I hope we have enough gauze. I've heard some doctors out there specialize in... Alright, yeah, that's enough of that. Where is... The Overseer? Atrium. Overseer... Okay, maybe... Another lamp. What the hell do these people do to them that they keep oh. breaking? Oh! Overseer. Take time to look around. 
You'll have the full run of the place. I... What? Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. There's gotta be something here. Huh. Ah, you. You'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Why? It's a new strain of mute fruit that I just developed. It should be nutritious and remove radiation poisoning. But I need a test subject to try it. Uh, why don't you just tell me about yourself? Me? I'm the vault biologist and hydroponic gardener. Everything you see here, I grew. Including this new fruit I just developed. But I need someone to test it. Sure I can't talk you into trying it? Is it dangerous? Well, everything has its risks, I suppose, but that's what the medical center is for. Nah, what the hell. I'll try it. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm, now where'd I put that Geiger counter? Okay, so I'll eat the fresh mutt fruit. Seems fine. Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? Seemed fine. It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. How much are you paying? I'll give you 25 caps non-negotiable. I know how you outsiders enjoy your bartering, but I've never been any good at it. All right. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Cool. Um... I just have a really hard time believing that there's absolutely nothing else Sorry to do in this. It never ends these like, days. this is one of the very few vaults that this game has to provide, and I just... I, ca I can't imagine... Calvin's always looking for tools. I heard he'll pay caps if you got him. That they just squander one on, yeah, let's oh, check this place out. Abraham. There's nothing to do here, but let's check it out. That's just kind of unbelievable, you know? So we're going to look around a little bit more and hopefully we find something. Overseer's terminal. Okay. Sweet. There we go. All right, supply requests. Um, all that stuff. Doesn't matter. Maintenance requests. Uh, vent has been leaking. Need to investigate shaft for integrity. May need to replace bad section, but hopefully can get, uh, by with a patch job. Main level corridor. Pipes are suffering from corrosion. Needs welding and sealant. Sections of flooring may need to be replaced. We'll need to take a closer look behind the scenes to investigate the extent of the damage. Wait. Entry. If you, uh, sealant must be giving way for concrete base as water is building up among wiring in the floor. Need to find a solution for resealing and water removal. Okay, repairs, repairs, repairs. If one more thing in this uh, vault breaks, I'm going to scream. And by scream, I mean angrily slam the keys to this terminal as I enter in yet another frustrated log. No one told me when I took over the uh, for Overseer bot that I was inheriting a sinking ship. From what Calvin tells me, the damage isn't even coming from us and our everyday lives. It's something external, and of course, since it's external, it's harder for him to assess the overall damage. We can't very well just unbury the vault. On the good side, the reactors continue to run without a hitch, two centuries and not a single instant that old Rusty couldn't handle. So while the walls around us crumble, at least we'll have good lighting to witness it. The anti-commonwealth. Once again, I overheard a citizen telling one of the traders how much we don't need them. 
What is wrong with these people? Holt, Miranda, they don't realize that without these traders we'd be starving. Uh, we wouldn't have half the items we need to get repairs done around here. Uh, I get the I get the fear to allow outsiders in. Uh, I was terrified when we first opened the vault after two centuries of isolation. But you'd think after ten years people would be more accepting and trust the faces we've go, uh, grown to know so well. Some people still don't accept Horatio and the man's lived with us for uh, for years now. And sure, I don't know what uh, could happen in the future. Uh, maybe it's just a matter of time before we allow the wrong person in. But it's a chance we have to take and change and a change they need to accept if we're going to survive for another generation. Bobby DeLuca. How hard can it be to catch Bobby DeLuca doing drugs? The vault is only so big. There's only so many places we can hide, and yet here I am getting another complaint about his little habit. It's frustrating me on so many levels. Uh, everyone's working hard almost round the clock, and here's Bobby. He sleeps on the job, a job that he can't even do, by the way. Uh, he gets old Rusty to do everything. If he's not high, he's drunk. His sister backs up every story he comes up with, and the list goes on. Part of me just wants to lock, uh, lock him up, post a guard, and be done with it. Let him suffer through the withdrawal as his punishment. We all know he deserves it. Uh, good, glorious food. Priscilla informed me that she lost the latest carrot crop. I wish we had, a, uh, had the space to do more consistent rotations. On the bright side, while we'll miss the carrots now, we'll be even happier once they're back. I wish... Or sorry, I will never forget the day when Maria made her first Brahmin meat pie. I thought it was in heaven and that I'd never eat another steak in a box again. Against Dr. Forsythe's wishes, I might add. Uh, wasn't long before I'd had my fill and found myself enjoying that same old Salisbury steak. On the bright side, Maria's mutt fruit pies are consistently good, although it's hard to go wrong when it comes to dessert. It helps that she uh, likes to save them for special occasions. Probably smart on her part. She's been our chef long enough to know how exactly our taste buds give out on us. Okay, that's pretty much... Wait. There's uh, something about a load hollow tape. Uh... Oh, okay. These are ones that I have. Alright, never mind. Now, where is... There's Rusty. Hey, old Rusty. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. DeLuca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. So you're lazy. Well, I'm a part of the club too, so, you know. Nobody gonna catch me doing this. Huh. Is that really it? Talk to my mom if you want something fixed. Well, hello. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes, and he's the best cat in the whole world. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back! Please! No one else would set foot outside for him. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. I'll find him for you. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Alright, I'm taking bets. Who thinks that cat's dead? Bet he is. But we're, we're gonna we're gonna try to find him anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we already have it set up and all that. I knew there was gonna be something. It might be minor, but it is still something. That's what matters. Yes, yes. 
Oh, yeah, there's the cat. Right next to a bunch of raiders. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. That's right. Because he can understand English. Alright, what's with these raiders? Huh. Uh, what's that guy trying to do? You gonna attack me? So that's it. Yep, I figured. Are you fucking okay? There we go. God damn it! All right, enough of this. Let's go. It's not worth it. Let's just... I, I doubt I can. Oh, okay. she in here? Yes, she is. Austin got himself bit by a mole rat. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. It's ridiculous. Ashes! You found him! Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Hey, I got a fusion core. I was All right. So worried about you. Excuse I me. Anything I can get you today? Nah, I'm I'll good. About it. All right. Let me know if I can help out. I know I don't like it either. But I'm just happy you're back. Okay, so this Austin kid got a disease. Dr. Forsyth, and I leveled up. I went ahead and just upgraded my lock picking ability. Nothing that exciting. Okay. Down in the clinic. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? What do you need me to do? Save my boy, Austin. What's in this secret vault? Your guess is as good as mine. From what Bobby says, it might be a medical research facility. At least I hope so. It may be Austin's only chance. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. All right. Be quick. Let's get to it. I knew there was going to be something interesting going on in this place. Is that your pip boy? It better be. Fuck off. If I wanted to, I could just lay on a massacre in this vault. I mean, like, I probably couldn't do that in, like, a raider's nest or whatever, but... What do these guys have? Like, 10 millimeter pistols? Yeah, good luck with that. How did you find this place? All right. Okay. So this is like an entirely new vault. That's pretty cool, actually. Certainly 
certainly seen better days, hasn't it? Yeah, I think that that, that is a fair assessment of this place. It is not good. <laughs> I'm just going to go out on a limb and assume there are enemies in this place. It just looks like that. Oh, mole rats. I don't think I really need a shotgun for them, though. Pretty much that anything that holds a bullet would be able to kill them from my experience. Matter of fact, they seem a bit weaker in this game than they did in comparison to like Fallout 3, for example. Maybe I'm off on that, though. I don't know. Uh, terminal. Okay, breeding program update. Mole rat breeders, we've finally got the breeding program stabilized. As earlier reports indicated, the mole rats show unusual degrees of aggression and captivity. This may be due to the growth hormones. Uh, recent generations seem more docile. Although some of the uh, uh, keepers are complaining that the lab animals are watching them, which is uh, preposterous. Ah, I can't pronounce things. Serum production. We have created 197 distinct serums that can treat 36% of known viruses. This is a modest improvement from last year's 33% th uh, treatment rate. However, 11 of the serums account for 61% of the treatment results, which is encouraging. At this time, only 19% of serums have this potential to be mass-produced. Uh, we have tasked our latest robot lab assistant to find ways to synthesize more of them efficiently. They have wings they're not even using. Yeah. We know. That's kind of the point of this place, is that nobody's using it. Blue, we're not alone here. Oh shit. Get out my righteous authority. Oh god damn it, more of them. There we are. Oh shit, she's hurt. Okay, I'll help you out in a second, Piper. I think I accidentally shot her. Nice. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh, shit. Multiple That's not good. There we are. That took up a lot of ammunition, but that's okay. There you go. Is there another one out there? Let's take some stuff. Uh, maybe some Instamash. How's that work? Yeah, okay. And how about some Nuka Cola? Eh, that uses AP. We'll save that for another time. How about that? Okay, cool. Let's quick save. Alright, so we got a couple different types of enemies out here. I was thinking it was just going to be mole rats, but quite obviously that is not the case. Alarm clock. Alright. So if there are any dirt-like areas, we got mole rats. Anywhere else, it will be... Uh... Securitrons. Ooh. God damn it. Yes. 
Yeah, sure, take it. How much weight do I have left? Okay, I have 20 pounds. I am good to go. Hey. Shit. I expected it to go fine. Maybe you shouldn't be so cynical. Jesus, Piper. God. Get it together. Oh, thing. There we go. There we are. Protectron control. Uh... Choose personality mode, medical responder, because that will cause them to be docile. And activate units. I, I would imagine they're already activated. Powering up. Protectron on nope. duty. Well, let's hope that doesn't cause them to try to kill me. Nope. They're helpful. Protect and serve. They don't seem interested in hurting me. Or it, I, su I suppose. It's only one of them. Uh, nothing. Oh. Let's go ahead and save here real quick. fuck was that? Quite literally had its head buried in the sand. Holy shit. Sorry, I think I just shot you, Piper. My apologies. Got some Rad X, got that. I have a feeling that's probably the stash that Bobby was talking about. Is there anything else? I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin no, will be running around tomorrow. This is creepy. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Okay. Hydroponics observation station. Uh, the crop rotation implemented by the hydroponics manager has proven successful supply for supplying the vault with adequate food. Uh, we have not had to intervene, which has eliminated the risk that the vault inhabitants would discover the secret part of the vault. So far, they do not appear to suspect the true nature of their vault. Their greenhouse would be a perfect place to introduce class C4 and D1 viruses into the population, as well as potential cures should a disease get too virulent. Uh, I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling. Okay, so I think that tells me all I need to know. So basically what vault Tech was doing uh, with this vault was they were, uh, they had two different sections of the vault. They had the part where um, the regular civilians would be and then they had the part where the scientists would be. And the scientists were testing all different types of uh, diseases and stuff and they were basically letting it spray out into the ventilation shaft and I guess every once in a while somebody would contract something um, and it would it would you know cause them to decay uh, decay in health Ooh, okay now that guy's good um, and so on um, and I'm assuming whatever happened was that the uh, mole rats took over basically like the mole rats got too smart or too powerful and started attacking and killed the scientists. Just, you know, 
piecing things together. This is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your I daughter could get sick like Austin, now, eight, and you're whining about zone, spending time with your family. You don't have to have in one piece. So busy, Holt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. Yeah, idiot. All right, depot observation terminal. The vault inhabitants have unexpectedly repurposed this room to be a kind of store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation port to record interactions between many of the vault citizens. This shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne class B2 viruses. It will also be valuable for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location along with the commissary. Uh, the primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that severely ill patients will all be taken there. This is really creepy. <laughs> I do not like this vault. Ooh, light bulbs. What's that for? What do you think? Light. Ugh, I hear them. Where are they? There they are. Oh my god. For fuck's sake, he's right there, point blank range. What was that? Hey, something's out there. No shit. You mean the thing's attacking us? Yes, they are out there. More specifically here. You think we're safe now? Oh. Now we're back. Huh? We hadn't come to that. Okay. Jesus Christ. There are more of them? Okay. You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets a secure. Why would you send me on this? Like, for exactly that reason, I'm the outsider. You don't even know me. Like, there are some traders that you know consistently because you trade with them so often, but you literally just met me. It's a very trusting thing for a group of people who are not supposed to be that trusting. I don't know. Seems kind of inconsistent with their attitude. Anyway, Overseer Observation Station. Although the chief scientists argued against an observation port in the Overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. Uh, we are able to observe the political shifts in governance since the vault door was, uh, was locked. When we do introduce viruses to the population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reactions and courses of action. I actually missed the first one. That's embarrassing. Alright, let's go ahead and save. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. Got some mines out of that. It is ranking here. Yeah. Fair. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take some Nuka Cola. Yeah. Oh, shit. God 
like they really creep up on you even though they're running straight to you. Get out of the way. Fucking god damn it. I'm so inaccurate with these guns. It's upsetting, honestly. Ooh. Oh, I can unlock that too. Wow, that was quick. There we are. Got it. I don't need the pistol. The rest of that stuff, though. Hold on a sec. How valuable is that? Shit. Um. Nah, it's not that important. I'll take the oil, though. I'll take all that, actually. More mole rats. Blue, we're not alone. There you are. Oh shit. God damn. There we are. Okay. Took a while to kill that one. <laughs> it was the brood mother after all. Better in our hands anyway. Ooh, blood pack. No, well, whatever. I'll take that too. What's in here? Psycho. And vodka. Alright. And Medex. How did this guy survive all this? To get to his stash? Old 81 tech password. A lot of nifty toys in here. Yeah. Agreed. What else? Obviously, I can't take everything. Oh, and the stealth boy, of course. Can't forget that. Okay, that's enough. Oh, wait, no, blood pack. Give me that. All right. Research comm terminal. Test it. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, testing one, two, three. Uh, Dr. Olivet, or Olivet, no, it's Olivet, okay. Uh, do you copy? I do, Kenneth, have everything good over there? Uh, just another drill day, right? Uh, it is, and thank God for that, okay. Um, where is everyone? K, uh, Kay Collins, Overseer, there are just three of us over here. What's going on? Olivet, are you getting this? Uh, sorry, Kevin, if there's, uh, sorry, Kevin, it's been a madhouse on this side, only three. Uh, myself, Jim Flint, and that kid, Burrow. Where is everyone else? Uh, Olivet. Not over here. Residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. Uh, Collins. That's the same way I heard it. You'd think vault Tech would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for staff this morning. Olivet, something must have gone wrong. Alright, so this is just as the bombs were dropping. Uh, phase one trial. We've been pretty limited down here, but we've been focused on antibiotics and have our first Petri trials underway. Uh, all of that. I saw the data last night. It's promising, but do you think it's ready? Collins, the trials just started and the virus we're, uh, we're going, sorry, the virus we're going after has a few days of inoculation, but I'm optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. All of that. Okay. Keep me posted and we uh, and don't begin phase two trials until I have an opportunity to go through the new data. 
Uh, Collins, of course, have a good afternoon. Food extruder issue. Uh, Burrow, uh, Overseer, do you have a minute? Olivet, this system isn't instantaneous, Burrow. I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Uh, Burrow, uh, o sorry, Overseer, I wanted to notify you about an issue with our food extruder. Uh, Olivet, okay, I see it now. Looks like a clog in the protein tank. You weren't able to address it on your, uh, on your end? Uh, Burrow, no, Overseer, hardware failures on the residential side must be addressed over there. We can't get to the tanks or nozzles to repair them. All of that. Okay, bro. I'll have a. Uh, I'll have maintenance down there immediately. Go stand by and have Collins contact me if there are still issues in about ten minutes. Okay, bro. Thank you, overseer. I'll go there now. Uh, phase two trial. Collins. Good news, uh, Doctor Olivet. We've tweaked our formula based on phase one trial results, and I think we're ready to go with phase two. Olivet. How's the mole rat population doing? Collins. Very well. The specimens Vault Tech provided are remarkably hardy. Uh, Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Olivet. Is that in the protocols? Collins. Not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff with the kibble provided for them. Burrow got pretty sick for a day or two, don't ask. Uh, Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, but, and we're thinking it's genetic. Olivet. Tampered with? Collins. Something like that. I think Vault Tech. Uh, okay, I think vault must have been running some experiments with them. They're all u uh, uh, unusually large. If you demonstrate uh, bioluminescence, at least one appears more intelligent than normal. Olivet, do you think they're still a useful control? Collins, we divided the colonies, separated the most unusual specimens, and put the control colony on a new diet taken from our own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Olivet, very well. Uh, give me the... Give me the evening to go over your data again, but I think you're clear to begin phase two unless I find anything I don't expect. Okay, two more. Delivery mech failure. Uh, Burrow. Overseer? Olivet. Yes, Burrow, what is it? Burrow. I've noticed an issue with our delivery mechanisms. Do you know if anyone has tampered with the nozzles in the residential quarters on your side? Olivet. I don't know. What are you doing with the delivery system anyway? The phase two trial just began. Burrow. I know, Overseer. I just thought it would be a good idea to run tests on the delivery system before we reach Phase 3. Ugh, excuse me. Olivet. If we reach Phase 3, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. Uh, what kind of tests are uh, were you hoping to run anyway? Burrow. Just a placebo vapor. Uh, to make sure the nozzles are dispensing misproperly. The residents wouldn't even know we had done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. Uh, Olivet. I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end. Um, in the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval. Uh, sorry, it's kind of weird reading dialogue, like, between two people. It's just very, I don't know, it's odd. Alright, please answer. Collins, doctor, please get in touch. I know what, you're, uh, what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Performing the Phase 3 trial on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. Collins. I can keep Burrow together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some actual response from you. Damn it, Olivet. You can't be such a hypocrite that you'd condemn us to die in the name of your personal sense of morality. I know your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please reconsider this. Hold on a second. Wait, what? Olivet the, was the overseer. What? I'm kind of confused by that. Olivet was the overseer, right? So they're saying that Olivet left his post or her post. I don't know if it's a male or female. I'm confused. All right, also, I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Vault 81 security, uh, secure access terminal. Okay, I have the password. Open that shit. Anything else? Ooh. Can't open that. Oh, another stranger. Are you Voltec Security? 
I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR-IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you vault Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Yep. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the Vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault Security? Hmm. I mean, I'm not, so I'd be lying if I said I was. Just open the door for me. There is a proper procedure to do this thing. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Um... Sure, like I guess. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Cool. I mean, I lied, but who gives a shit, right? Since you are a Volt Tech representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, Ooh. be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Alright, I got the cure. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Alright, hold on a second. Okay, cool. Um, probably, okay, let's get the bottle head yeah. real quick. Alright, stim packs permanently heal 10% more damage. That's like the equivalent of a perk. Alright. Okay, terminal. Vault 81 mission statement. Uh, we are entrusting you with a mission that is critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out disease as we know it in the human race. Your partition of the vault has been equipped with state-of-the-art medical research uh, equipment, including the new Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, a.k.a. Curie. There is a century's worth of biological and chemical supplies. There are the genetically adapted mole rats, uh, and most importantly, a vault full of test subjects. As with all great progress, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You will be infecting the people of the vault with diseases in an attempt to have them develop antibodies. Some may not survive, but you must ensure that a breeding population is always maintained. It will take many generations, but with proper procedures, you should be able to develop a disease-resistant resist group of humans. Your work will be the work of gen wait, sorry. Your work will be the work of generations. Each generation of scientists must select a chief scientist. Curie will make sure that each reads this mission statement to keep the vault focused over the centuries. We wish you the best of luck. That's it. Okay. There was one more over here. Uh, and there's that. Huh. Okay, Curie's terminal. Uh, research. Wait, hold up a sec. Uh, please res Okay, this terminal is now for the exclusive use of Curie for both research and personal purposes. Please respect her privacy and use other terminals for uh, your own work. Research. Data less data purge, memory failure. This terminal not recommended for research backups. Please use hard copies. Uh, personal. Entries of the personal work and property of Curie do not read. Okay, initializing, initializing greetings, laboratory. I've been ordered by Dr. Collins to add an entry to this terminal. Dr. Collins was most insistent that this be, uh, this is my terminal. I explained several times that robots cannot own property as per Robco policy, but his orders 
were most clear and insistent. I will comply with Dr. Collins' wishes and maintain a log when ordered to. Colleagues, I've completed my analysis and integration of the data to make me a capable research assistant. I have been commanded uh, to provide an assessment of my colleagues. Dr. Flynn is objectively brilliant, although Dr. Collins repeatedly calls him brusque. But I find Dr. Flynn's commands and speech patterns easier to parse. His observations are always very astute, and I am learning much about working with cell cultures from him. Uh, Monsier? Monsier, okay. Monsieur Burrow is perfectly acceptable to work with. He performs menial tasks which my programming is perfectly suited for, such as carrying heavy lab equipment. This is strange because my capabilities for such a task are far beyond those of human male. I am told by Dr. Collins that this is a sign of respect that Monsieur, uh, Monsieur uh, Burrow is making. This is not... This does not compute. Well, let me go over that one more time. Okay, performance manual tasks, which... I'm sorry, like, sometimes I read stuff and I just don't process it, so I have to read over it again. It's just, I don't know, I I, I assume that a lot of people have that issue, like, when it comes to reading aloud. Uh, I do, at least, so. Uh, he performs manual tasks, which my program is... Okay, such as carrying heavy lab equipment. Uh, this is a sign of respect. Yeah, okay. Uh, error in cash into something. Okay, can't do that one. Distress. Uh, unusually agitated state. He would not leave his quarters after his morning meal. Dr. Collins assures me the state is temporary, but that Monsieur Burrow is merely overwhelmed with the something. Uh, error in cash. Yeah, okay, thought so. Alright, eulogy. Dr. Burrow is deceased. Postmortem indicates he expired from a severe cardiac arrest brought on by advanced age. He died at 5.01 a.m. shortly after waking. In accordance with the doctor's pre-existing orders, the body was cremated and placed in the spe uh, specified urn. Alongside Dr. Collins and Flint... Um, sorry, alongside Dr. Collins and Flint. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Dr. Burrow was of great assistance in continuing the work left to us by the others. My last order was to continue working on our projects alone so that our deaths will not be in vain. Uh, my processors are fully committed to furthering the study of pathogens and viruses for the betterment of mankind to honor this last request. Message ends. Collins ar Archive. Okay, so this is from the lead scientist. Okay, boot up. We're hamstrung with only three researchers. Uh, decided to make a few modifications to this hand uh, Mr. Handy robot. Should be really useful for speeding up some of, my, uh, some of our lab work. I've been pretty anxious since admittance day, uh, as if the world ending wasn't enough. I'm very concerned about Olivet's motives. Uh, dusting off some of my old robotics chops has been just the distraction I've needed. Personality profile. Uh, I've decided to write a suite of custom personality settings for the robot. She's a little bit of uh, Liza? Lisa? I really hope she got into her vault down in DC. And a little bit my grad school fling from Versailles back in 46. Uh, I'm loading her databanks with every great body of work I have access to here. Uh, Kant, Einstein, Born, Darwin, Curie, Faraday, okay, blah, 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 all right. She'll have so much to learn. It's already made her feel so much more like a peer in the lab, as opposed to an appliance. I'm calling her Curie. I know, I know. I was never a subtle man. All right, therapeutic. Curie's been doing great. Flint's finally, uh, stopped treating me like a crazy person for insisting we address her as a human. And I swear Burrow is deferential to her in a way that reminds me of seeing him around Rebecca. Back during the drills, it's uh, actually endearing to see. Most importantly, and perhaps more surprisingly, she's bringing a sense of normalcy to the lab, keeping us all a bit more grounded. Uh, anything to keep our minds off the situation we're in is all too welcome. I've tuned her personality matrix a lot, but it's beginning to feel uh, wrong to manipulate her. I'm going to leave her programming alone for now, and just see how she evolves as she keeps learning. Alright, ongoing directive. Uh, haven't touched this terminal in years, not since I gave it to Curie as her own. Seeing her reaction to having something of her own was transformational. It just seemed wrong to violate that, and so it's truly been for her eyes only ever since. This final entry is an exception, and I suppose it's being written out of habit as a man used, uh, to a lifetime of recording his experiments. Uh, we lost Flint today, and Burrow has... 
uh, has to spend more time helping me around the lab than actually performing research these days. So, if only to report my findings, Curie has been a remarkable success. She transcended my expectations of robotic programming. Uh, her personality feels as genuine as my own. Her interest in scientific research is insatiable, and seeing her struggle with concepts like morality, uh, mortality has been completely moving. Truly, she is my greatest work. I only hope that one day she can be, uh, sorry, she, that she can see more of the world. If only I could be there to witness her reaction to the blue skies and butterflies she's only heard me sing about. Okay, that's enough of that. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Sounds good. We must consult the professors at the university. They could provide many answers. Yeah, it's not going to work. See, that's another thing. I like that she's interacting with stuff. I always like that with the companions. It's just, it's very immersive. Very cool. Alright, we going? Okay, come on. Alright, fine. Hello, Dr. Forsyth. The cure. You found it. How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had you sure returned. You sure managed to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, honors more data to challenge my hypothesis. Two people are talking to me right now. <laughs> you were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee. Thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you this syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I, go I see hope you Grand? enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank starving. you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangerous vault tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Where the fuck are you? Get in there. Ah, ah, ow. 